What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Sports News for another video, and today we'll be diving into the college football playoff rankings that just came out. I'll give you my thoughts and opinions. Getting right into it, at number 25, we have Tulsa. Big matchup with Cincinnati coming here in a couple weeks. We have, at number 24, we have Iowa. 23, of Oklahoma State. They just got destroyed by Oklahoma this past week. At number 22, we have Auburn. That has a big matchup with Alabama this week. 21, we have 7-0 Marshall. At 20, we have 8-0 Coastal Carolina. At 19, we have North Carolina. That has a big matchup with uh, Notre Dame this weekend. Uh, I think it's a Friday night game, so big matchup there in the ACC. At 18, we have uh, USC. Um, USC has only played three games so far, so the committee probably didn't have much to go on. But the games they've been winning haven't been pretty, so... Uh, no disagreement there. Texas is sneaking their way back to 17 after two losses early. Wisconsin, after a loss to Northwestern, has fallen to 16. Um, Wisconsin's game this week just got canceled, so they are automatically disqualified from the Big Ten championship game because they won't be able to play enough games to get into that game. At 15, we have the highest Pac-12 team, and that's Oregon. They are 3-0. Um, again, they haven't uh, really had a big showing that they could show the committee, but at the same time, all their wins have been against non-ranked opponents, so uh, can't really judge them too hard yet. Uh, at 14, we have BYU, 9-0. Sprint, the schedule was terrible, but the way that they're beating teams is, is crazy. Uh, 14 might be a little too low. At 13, we have Iowa State. 12 we have Indiana um, I kind of feel like Indiana kind of got boned on this one and the reason I think this is uh, I mean there's teams above them that have lost two games and Indiana just lost to Ohio State and some say they probably should have won that game so I mean they barely lost to Ohio State and they're a one loss team I think they should have been a little higher maybe like 10 but uh, I guess this is how things go uh, number 11 we have Oklahoma lost two games early, um, now bouncing back, trying to make their stride into the playoffs as the first two-loss team. Running off the top ten, um, we have Miami at 7-1 and one from the ACC. At nine, we have 5-2 and two Georgia. Um, I don't think I really agree with Georgia being this high, but uh, what can you say? At number eight, we have Northwestern, 5-0, and oh, just beat Wisconsin. They pretty much... To get into the playoffs, Northwestern, pretty much their destiny is up to them. I mean, they're 5-0 and right now. They clean the plate for the rest of the season, uh, go to the Big Ten Championship game, and beat Ohio State. I mean, they're in the playoffs, so uh, their destiny is up to them. At number 7, we have 8-0 Cincinnati. Um, Cincinnati is looking to be the first uh, group of five conference team to get into the college football playoffs. At 6 we have Florida, and at five, we have Texas A&M. And Texas A&M beat Florida earlier in the year. So putting them above Florida makes sense from the head-to-head -head standpoint. Now to the big news of the hour. We have the top four that are in the playoffs at this point. At number four, we have Ohio State at 4-0. Um, I can see why from the AP they were at three, and they the – Playoffs dropped them to uh, number four because their pass defense is just not looking good. Their pass defense got abused by Indiana. So uh, Ohio State is just not looking as strong as what people thought they would. At number three of Clemson, the 7-1 Clemson lost to number two Notre Dame uh, without Trevor Lawrence and a couple other key pieces. So I think the eye test to these uh, committee, playoff committee people are... Uh, I test is there. I mean, Clemson with Trevor Lawrence is just dominating people. So they think Clemson as a whole team is number three. At number two, we have 8 0 Notre Dame. Now they had the, probably the biggest win in the entire year from any team. They beat Clemson. Um, again, Clemson to have Trevor Lawrence, but uh, Notre Dame 8 0. And at number one, Alabama, no surprise. They just look dominant all year. Um, I don't know if a team can knock them off. At least in the regular season, I mean, they're probably going to match up with Florida in the SEC championship. So, uh, give me your thoughts down below on if the committee got these rankings right. 
And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.